We are at the DI today here in beautiful Las Vegas. We're gonna see what we can find. I'm gonna try to do this most of the days this week and kind of have you guys come along and see what we find throughout the week. Some days suck, some days are pretty good. I think a week will give you a, a pretty good idea of how good it is to thrift here in Vegas, which really is the DI for me. Maybe the Goodwill bins are decent too. Occasionally savers, but the DI, especially this, this one on Craig's Road, is awesome. I just sold a Wedgwood like little cup the other day. This is Wedgwood styling, but be careful with these guys because it's the dreaded Avon. Avon doesn't really sell well in general, so be careful. It is in the design and style of Wedgwood, especially something that Tim over the years taught me, guys, if you want to know about Wedgwood, the different colorways, like the blacks, the maroons, the darker blues, the greens can sell a lot better than this classic kind of powder blue and white. Pick this up four bucks, but it does have that one issue, but people are asking 50 to 60 on there, and if I said it had the issue, it's still, it's still zipping. It's just being a little tricky when you get to that point. But I mean, it's. But it's at four bucks. People were asking sixty. You're saying? Yeah, fifty to sixty. Even if we sold it, somebody gave us an offer for twenty plus shipping. It would still be five times minus fees, but it'd still be like three times our money. Yep. Why not? It's Disney. Disney sells. Oh, yeah. We like Disney stuff here for sure. Let's see. Oh, there's Battle Cat Don. This is the, the vintage one too, Don. 83 or whatever. Let's see what else we got. I don't know. So this isn't what it used to be back in the day. Probably like six, seven, eight dollars plus shipping. Usually you'd say skip this kind of stuff, but I like selling this kind of stuff. I love vintage toys. This is the original. They've made a remakes here recently in the last couple years of, of Panthor, which is the purple one, which is Skeletor's cat. And then this is He-Man's cat. As somebody who grew up on He-Man, it would be uh, just wrong of me not to get it. Right, Don, I gotta get this. Oh, yeah. Don't you agree? Piece. A dollar a piece. What are they? Oh. They're Bailey's cups, which are the winky face. I remember That's we cute. found one of these at the swap meet one time when that, back then I think I sold just that one cup for like 30 or 40. And now what are they going for? I could probably get 15 or 20 for but both. Once again, the price is right. A, a dollar, dollar. dollar a piece. Only at the DI, gotta love it. We got some candlesticks or you're gonna look those up? Look gotta look them up. They're bringing out carts now. That's the key to this DI or any DI if you guys are in Utah is fresh carts. That's where you get most of the deals. When I got here, there wasn't a heck of a lot because they hadn't brought anything out since the day before. So if you're out here when the fresh carts come, you can find some deals. Candlesticks? Yeah, they're made Vintage. in India. They are pretty. Just gotta clean them up. What do you think they'll go for? Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe I'll ask 55 to 60 for a pair. What are they asking? Uh, well, they're all over the place. No, I but what are they asking here? Two each, so four, four bucks. It's worth it, worth a go. Yeah. And we're getting this for our Dib Dib auction, guys. We have a plush auction on Friday, which may be in the past when you see this. It probably will be in the past, but they were doing a plush auction, so we're going to put like 20 or 30 plushes together and kind of see how it goes. We got everybody following our cart here. That's how it goes sometimes. Mm -hmm. I didn't get anything on that cart. There's a lot of people. Sometimes you just get to buy stuff because it's cool. Commonwealth picker mug. I love it. <laughs> How much is it? Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta be quick, right? Gotta be quick. That looks nice and fancy. This shiny box. Like I'll take the shiny box. J-Ride's got me looking at these now. I don't know. You thinking those are fake? The little dragon guys? This was two this bucks, so... Yeah, I don't know what that I've is. I've never seen Looney Tunes. Acme, yeah, Looney Tunes. This has some Pokemon cards in it for, for two bucks. I got this because this would be, I think, like 50s or 60s, right, Don? Yeah. It's all metal. The wood's a little bit okay. jacked, but maybe 70s. Look this up, right? Yep. I say we do. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm aware this isn't amazing, but this is like a world championship deck card. But it's, we have like an energy, a trainer. For two bucks, the way I look at it, Don, 
is this case will be good just to store Pokemon cards that we have on eBay, if nothing else. Yeah. We'll probably make our money back in a little bit. I just can't resist cards. Learning process always. Is that Corel? Where no, or Corel? Uh, Fire, Fire King. King? Fire King's not bad at all, if that's what it is. F is Fire oh, no, it's Federal. Oh, Federal. I think it's Federal. Fire King's different. Uh, I think the F is Federal. Federal's Milk Glass, I think it's probably worth it if it's only a couple bucks and a good... Yeah, Federal. It's two carts, guys. It's a lucky day when it's two carts. Lucky day. Corre. <laughs> there we go. Look at this. We got some competition today, which is fine. Plenty for everybody. Go, 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 go. Here, let me get through and I can get to the other one. A little commemorative baseball. Here's the other cart. The other cart has made it. Let's see what we can get here, guys. I used to sell candles all the time. Candle stuff. So I ended up finding a lot more of these baseballs. Honestly, 75 cents. It's fun. They're not going to be big ticket ones. Even this one numbered, I'd guess, five or ten apiece. I might get them all, though. A lot of, because there's three, two SP, ESPN ones of 51s. This is Cal Ripken. Kind of branded, limited to 2,000. Or three, or limited to 10,000. I might get them. They're so cheap and they're fun. I might just put them all together. Except put this one separately, because it's minor league baseball for uh, Vegas. But put these four together. I don't know. It's one of those days where I'm making questionable decisions. So you're saying the candles are bath yeah, and body works? works. Brand, brand new. new. So I overlooked them because I assumed they were used. They're That's what happens feet. when you assume. They do about... I used to sell these back in the day. I'd get them at the auction and at a Bullards in Utah done. I would yep. get the uh, Woodwick. Have you seen the Woodwick ones before? Mm -mm. I'd get a lot of the Woodwick. They'd go like 20, 15 to 30. So that's awesome. I do about 20 a piece on those. Nice. Good win. Ooh, that is cool. Oh, go ahead. No bears done. No. <laughs> no, no, no. We've, yeah, they Kind of calling it, unfortunately. That's cool. So that's Kenny, isn't it, Don? Oh, is that a lenses? What? What is that? Oh, it's for a bar thing. There's nothing in it. Oh. So we're gonna get this. These are kind of cheap, but they're neat. Harley Davidson. That's pretty cool. I thought that was Warner Brothers character looking, like Sylvester. But looking up close, it's a snowman. And I'm not gonna get these guys. You convinced me in my head. I'm like, they're going to say, don't get them. And I'm not going to get them. Um, because I know better, even though, you know, yeah, I know better. So we can't find a lot on this. This is vintage. It says made in Korea. So made in Korea. You know. Navara is a good bike brand from what we can tell. It's like a wrap bag. Has this Here's the well. thing. It's $4. It's got the cool. This is the way I look at it. There's no way we're not going to make at least a little bit on it. So we might as well just educate ourselves, get it. And if it ends up selling for 20, 30, 40, 50, we know now that it's worth something. And if it only sells for eight or nine plus shipping, we have an education. I don't think we'll lose money. No, no. It's got a cool vintage vibe, but the bikes are like over a thousand dollars. Way cool. I like that. Yeah, we'll take a chance. You know, sometimes at the DI with the prices they have here, you can take chances all the time. This little figure caught my eye. I hadn't seen it before. It's a PJ Mask Armadillon. They're gonna probably want seventy-five cents, fifty cents, or a dollar for it. It sells like between eight and ten plus shipping. I'm gonna pick it up because it's one of those days I'm not finding a ton. The PJ Mask stuff, especially in lots, does well. Maybe I'll find some more and I can lot it up, but this is a harder to find figure. Definitely one I haven't seen. That is Capodimonte, Don. This is the We've dealt with this many times. Me you first started See, doing. I taught you about Capodimonte. But what else did I teach you about Capodimonte? It's broken, don't buy it, usually. It's always broken. Capodimonte usually. gets broken so easily. For obvious reasons, look how ornate it is. I don't know. It's so huge. It might even be worth you buying, can look but it up. I don't know. I doubt we'll see. It, Probably not. 
Country Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Country Kermit here. I'm Is he part fishing. of Emmett Otter's uh, junk band, maybe? Let's do a little bit of bass fishing slash fly fishing. Slap it to boss. I love it. Is it worth anything? I don't know. Let's see. We may never know. It's priceless for obvious reasons, but... Oh my gosh, there's another one? Merry Christmas, bro. This thing's insane. I love it. That one's worth anything, but this guy. I used to, you know, ever know, let me see what this says. You never know. This is how you learn. You just look stuff up when you're here, especially in downtime while we're waiting for, for more carts. Oh, there's Shrek, Don. Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted to get it. I thought that was a cart coming out, but it's just a lady with stuff in her car. So this is loot wear right here, guys. This stuff isn't super high end, but these go in like those crates, the loot crates. Six bucks. Kind of popular all over the place. The lowest on eBay right now is like 20 shipped, but it sells regularly, regularly like between 15 and like 25 plus shipping. I'm going to pick it up at six. Bread and butter item. Not a big ticket item, but might as well throw it in the cart along with everything else. Is that the same brand? I found this one on the cart. Gave it to you. It had a tag on it, but they got ripped off. It's painted glass, vintage, definitely. Probably, what, two bucks or less here? A dollar. I'd say just get it. So it's basically, think... it's this French blue, it looks like. French blue? I'd pick it up for the price, right? Might as well learn, I don't think we can lose. This is another day at the DI. Don's already in there. I got to wear my hat and it's windy here, so this is what you get. But we're gonna see what we can find. We're probably not gonna be here too long today. We got a dibbed at auction in a couple hours, but wish me luck. What are they? They're Libby. Oh man, 40 something a piece per cup? No, uh, some of them are three. Look, we gotta find the mugs. The mugs are worth, how much are these ones that aren't the mugs worth? Um, this 45. Three of them for 45? And then this is the other, this is for the big tall ones. Here, turn it so I can see. Somebody did a bid there like, I would never do that because right here. That's the thing a lot of people do. They do that in sports cards too, like they'll, They'll say, well, this only went for $5 on bid. You don't want to put stuff that's like, got a collector base, but isn't necessarily checking every week. You don't want to yeah. put that stuff on bid. You just want to put it at what the going rate is and yeah. let it sit for a week or two or a month or two. Mm -hmm. Been a little bit more careful about bobbleheads lately, but this is Jack Eichel, Golden Knights, 10 bucks. This one does pretty well, pretty pretty, pretty uh, consistently, maybe 30, 25 up to like 50. So at 10 bucks, I'm gonna pick it up. I gotta, I gotta find somebody so that I can uh, buy it. Just found this, it's an interesting brand, MMA Elite, six bucks, which is a little bit. These are all over the place, like similar shirts all the way down from 10 up to 20. I'm gonna try it out, I wanna learn. This is kind of like the mid 2000s style, which isn't super, super popular, but I think it's starting to get a little more popular. We're gonna give it a try, see how it does. I won't lose, I might not win big, but that's okay. You gotta educate yourself. I've seen this come out in the cart when I came right back from the bathroom. In Step is the brand. Pedal car. 15 bucks, dude. 15, what do you think it'll go for? Um, I want it to go quick. I'd list it for 125 plus 125 shipping. Nice, dude. Or I could use it. Is that a possibility? Can I have it? Can I keep it? Can uh, I have you it? drive it though, that's the problem. That's true, I'm not I've a great driver. Drive this might even be more Do you need a, well, I say we risk it. I say we, I said we go out and give it a try. And see Let's figure it out. Take a spin around Let's the grab it. Off. Am I the only one who wanted a power? I'm not the only one who wanted a power wheel when they were a kid. I never got one. My parents probably would have bought one if I bugged them enough. But and I still kind of, kind of want a power wheel still. And I have like a normal wheel, like a car wheel. Um, camp shelf. Camp shelf. It's cast iron. You said. Twenty bucks. You got this before I got up this morning. Don likes to go in a little earlier than me typically. All Pokemons. Pokemon cards? Oh, yeah. love it. How much was the whole bag? Six bucks for both. Nice. That's exciting. I want to look at that bag. Yeah. I want to bring that in the car with uh, me. This is the J-Ride special. <laughs> J oh, yeah. We've been watching J-Ride, guys. He's our, well, he's like an hour and a half away, but he's our, our uh, rival, our arch rival. Maybe we got that little <laughs> shelf thing that hangs from the door for us. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's like a little caddy. Nice. I want to go through these. I'm curious. Awesome. Exciting. Good job, Don. I gotta put the carts away, guys. I don't know about you, 
but I am always scared of the carton arc. Like he's just gonna be around and he's gonna catch the time I slip up. So truth be told, I haven't always been good at this, but uh, I've gotten way better. Thanks to the carton arc, doing, doing good work. Look at this. Look at that. So proud of myself.